We are starting from last night. We stayed seven hours in the, the Turkish beach. Uh, the children is crying uh, cold and we don't know which way to reach to here. Yes, all people from Syria, I think one or two from Iraq. It's, it's a long day. Uh, we've had call outs at, at four and five o'clock in the morning that there's refugees needing assistance. They've been brought off the water, rescued by the Coast Guard here in Greece and brought to shore in wet clothes. So they would need changed out blankets, uh, food, water, uh, whatever we can provide for them because, you know, we, we the water temperature is dropping here, the winds are picking up, and it's just becoming a, 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 a bad situation for hypothermic cases. We cannot live in Syria. There is more uh, killing and uh, there is no facility in Syria now. No electricity, no schools, no medicine, nothing. In Syria, I work as an IT specialist and uh, we have before company in Syria. The difficult, you cannot use your passport and you cannot live in your country. Shuda is the camp that we have just built to gather those registered. We're hosting 800 to 1,000 refugees who are coming here every night. And it took us five days to build, and we're working 24 seven. We're helping these people by providing NFIs, which is non-food items, like blankets, soap, and places to sleep every night when they come here. We're trying to get them dry as they arrive wet and cold and they don't know where they are. We're trying to provide information to allow them to begin their journey with a clear understanding of this difficult path ahead. The last thing we want is disease spreading, and so having a, a safe, clean place for people to go to the bathroom, wash their hands, even if it's doing laundry. Many of these people haven't had maybe a shower for over who knows how many days, or wash their clothes, and they can only carry so much. Take care of the hygiene messaging so people understand to wash your hands after going to the bathroom. The average person is staying here one to three days until they uh, get on a ferry and then they go up to the mainland, up to uh, Athens, where they move into the human highway uh, to move further up into Germany. We want to be secure. If we have uh, good security, we uh, don't need to camp here. I'm 15 years old. You're 15? Yes. I'm single with my friends. The way was very hard for we because uh, we see a lot of uh, problems in, in this way. We see the people who die. That was very difficult for me. What we want to do is help them right here in this position, in this ditch of life where they are right now. Uh, they're in a hard situation, so Samaritan's Purse is here to help them in the name of Jesus. We're in Slavonsky Brod, Croatia right now, uh, which is in between Serbia and Slovenia. It's in the Balkans, so it's north of Greece. Uh, we've been seeing 7,000 to 9,000 people coming through each day. You gotta be ready for everything, and so that's why we've got people here 24 hours a day. We have a lot going on. Currently in Slavonsky Brod, backpack distribution to the women and children. The children are the ones that we see the most joy uh, on their faces because they get blankets in there, they get you know, other things, hygiene stuff, um, wet wipes for the mothers with the babies. We're also helping them with the shower containers that we've provided and hand washing stations, towels that are being distributed inside the sectors. Behind me over here, uh, you can see our, our blankets, uh, and these are delivered every day. So refugees come in, it's very cold at night. They'll use the blankets, and uh, when they're left behind, dirty, we take them, wash them, and bring them back here so that people have another warm blanket for the next night. There's a lot of pain, anxiety. Children are often crying. When they're not, they're laughing, so they go to extremes, <laughs> as children do. 
we're smiling at them, we're saying good evening or have a good night or have safe travels and they like it. As this is going and continues, we ask for your continued support at home, uh, that you would be praying for all of these refugees as they come through, uh, and also be praying for the work that Samaritan's Purse is doing here in Greece and Croatia.